folks. Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Yay. Wild Hunt. Oh, sorry. I, yeah, I, no. I jumped in too I, soon. The, the enthusiasm is worth far more than the subtitle <laughs> every day of the week. Um, okay, so last time we killed a griffin. Yay! So that's good. We did it. Uh, we also unlocked the ability to make potions. So while we are definitely going to proceed with lilac and gooseberries um, in just a moment, I wanted to run over to the apothecary real quick and see if we can get her some swallow. Yes, um, that and sounds great. That may or may not kill the patient. They suggested that if it didn't work, it was going to be a pain far worse than death. Uh, but, but let's see what happens. Yeah, we're gonna so, do it anyway. Yeah, so let's, let's go. <laughs> let's have, let's let's explore. We can. What's the worst that can happen? Uh, they die a horrible, painful death. Well, and we're there to witness it. Look. So, <laughs> oh, sorry. I just wanted to yes. make sure that I get. Yeah, it's just it's mm, it's straight and then right. It's yeah, straight and then right. I get disoriented in this particular game more than any other game <laughs> I've ever played, and I don't know what it is about. I think I mean I mentioned the map before. But boy, it just throws me every time. Are you are you using the mini map or just not as much? You're not really like at looking this point. At... I'm kind of just using my sense of direction because the mini map throws me because it turns. Oh, because of the um, way. Oh, yeah, yeah. We thought yeah. about checking to see if there was a way to like we did You're to right. lock an orientation oh, for the mini map. But wait, what's that to the right? Yeah. Is that a place of power that wolf. we already spent? It's a wolf. It's a wolf. No, not that. To the to your left, no. That. This? Yeah. What's it's this? A, it's, a, it's a grave. Oh, okay. I yeah. thought it was... Okay. Now I'm using the mini-map. I'm going to go kill some wolves because there's a whole bunch Do of them. Do it. Do it. Let's get their hides. Or whatever we get from the Oh, wait. I need, um... Freaking... No, not what I meant. Oh, God. It's been a while since I played. <laughs> uh, Oops. <laughs> every time. Every time when we pick this game back up, You're it's like... like it's suddenly a new game again. <laughs> <laughs> Please use fire! God damn it! <laughs> he killed that wolf, so that's good. Yeah, look. <laughs> Small blessings. Oh, come back here. Oh, oh, those are bees. Bees! <laughs> there, there, there are bees. There are? There are bees? There are bees behind you. Watch out for them. You, they're not floating in a tree. They're just floating in the air. Oh, so there's no, like, honeycomb or whatever? Well, there's a hive, but they're not attached to a tree. Or maybe you were too close to see the tree. Get out of here, Warg. Okay. All right. Um, look. Okay. All right. Look. Things could have gone better, but they could have gone worse. Th th that's an accurate, <laughs> like, assessment of what just occurred there, so... Okay, where are the bees? There are the bees. Uh, th there are the bees. Uh, there's something there. What is that? I think it's a rabbit I killed. Oh, okay. Um, do you want to fuck with the bees? Well, here we go. No. I want... <laughs> Igni. Okay. Do it. Did it work? <laughs> We're so Please? close. There it is. Beautiful. Smoke them out. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Cool. All right. Again, could have gone better, but like could have gone worse. Uh, I need to get there some body salute. Oh, I killed yes. a bunch of wolves. Yeah. In a moment. Kill. Or uh, loot a few more bodies. Dog um, tallow. Got probably more dog, dog tallow. tallow. God, that's a lot of deer over there. That is a whole lot of deer. Okay. We are going. Okay. Oop. Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I, I, like, I couldn't help it. It just like, uh, this I felt game... like a dog on the hunt. I just was like, I suddenly had to go fight. This game like makes, I don't know. It makes getting distracted so easy. It really you know, does. In a weird way. Like, it's it's so, just like, oh, a thing. Oh, a thing I can go do. so much stuff you can oh, boy, go Oh, boy, get. oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, like, I kind of love it, though. I do, too. Like, <laughs> I do feel like like a dog wagging my tail. Like, yeah. oh, my goodness. Oh, this thing. Oh, what about this? Yeah. A toy. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Oh, my goodness. Now let's do something sad. Um, yes. But first, I'm going to steal. First, take all of our shit. Because apparently there's no repercussions. Well, and also, I might need it. That's um, true. To, to make swallow is my oh, argument. Oh, right. Ooh, wait, myrtle petals. Okay. And that. Ah, take it all. Damn. Yeah. I do exactly that. Okay, all right, real quick, let me brew some uh, swallow. Okay, beautiful. Here we go. Okay, all parts present. Oh, that's Fantastic. Okay, perfect. What do did it. I need for it? A dwarven spirit, celadine, and drowner brains. Okay. Oh, cool. okay, great. Cool. Awesome. Did you make right. two of them? I guess I did. That wasn't... <laughs> Look. <laughs> I guess, we, guess we did that. 
All right. Okay. I do have to talk. Okay, you have to talk yep. to me. Yes. Uh, got, got a potion. A, yep. Got a potion for Lena. Swallow. First sign of spring. Symbol of rebirth. Fitting as names go. We'll see. Like I said, could harm her deeply. Works on me immediately, but I have a faster metabolism. Effects won't appear in her case for a few days. Why'd you choose this in the end? Decided it was better than doing nothing. I like you, Witcher. Here. A small gift. For giving a damn. <laughs> I also really like her. I like, I like her, her a lot. like her design a lot. She looks very believable, you know what I mean? Like, I do, very yeah. Very realistic looking person and like how she like is animated and Yeah, she and looks stuff. like someone I know, actually. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like I can't put my finger on it. I can't either. I wanted to bring it up earlier but because I was like, God, you resemble somebody like I actually familiar, know. But... Like a like a real familiar person. I feel like a lot of the characters in this game are like that. Like a lot of the NPCs we've been encount encountering. Yeah, they all have like really well designed faces yes. and they feel just real. They're they're um, very believable. I got um, a book. Oh. We did. Um yeah, let's see. Uh where a book? Okay. Nervous letter uh would it be a quest book or no? I don't Books? I guess I didn't get a book. Oh, I thought well alright. I, I thought a book showed up. But maybe I'm wrong. Letter from the judge to go go down to the bottom. Oh, if you click on books, what is, does that give you anything? Oh. Yeah, there's there's two there. Yeah, oh, okay. that's, it's neither right. of those. Okay. Yeah, I thought you had something, too. Maybe you did. I, I don't know. I just didn't I didn't see it fast enough. It's okay. Sorry. It is a-okay. <laughs> okay. Look, we did it, and we're good. And Excellent. I do agree, in this case, it feels like doing something is better than doing nothing. Because, like, if she's going to die anyway, like, it, they it, can make a call. If she looks like she's about to be in terrible pain, they can they stop can, that. Yeah. Um, but... They can't, like, if she's already dying from what right. she has. Right, you might as, might well, as well try. Try exactly. I wonder if we can check back here later Probably. and see if she's recovered. And or it almost something. definitely will have ended poorly, but uh, at least oh. we tried. Oh yeah, yeah I, mean, I guess you're it just right. seems like that's the kind of mm -hmm. game. The Arania is one of the plants that we used in the wraith oil. So yes, that's why I was, was going to say thank you for grabbing yep. that uh, Arania. Is that what it was? I Arania? think that's what it was. Ar Arania, Arania, Arania. That that flower that, that we flower need. that we need. Yes, you're almost there. Uh, every time. Oh, you you went too far. No, or I go down it? the wrong path. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it happens every time we're in this town. I have a it's feeling because it's bigger. It, oh yeah, yeah. The, the street is bigger. But it seems like we're not going to be in this town for long. So I think that's probably yeah. true. Uh, Vesemir! Uh, real quick, real quick. Oh. I'm gonna see if there's anything we need from Elsa before we leave. Oh, good and call. Then, if need him. And then we're gonna talk with Vesemir, and then we're gonna leave. Perfect. Got anything okay. interesting under the counter? Depends what you're after. She's Have a look. She's also an incredibly realistic looking person as well, and I agreed. Ah, love her what design. Roach. What is this? Uh oh. Noonwraith trophy. Noonwraith trophy. Oh wait. Who do we... I give this to? Not the innkeeper, probably. But no. I wonder. Huh. I don't remember who. Are we supposed to give that to somebody? Should we check our wait bonus experience for humans and non humans? Drop trophies to your side. Hmm. Oh wait, no. Yeah. We, so we long did as it's on, it's on Roach. We get that bonus. I don't know if there's somebody that's worth selling it to. Okay. Instead, but uh, it, I don't think it's her. Okay. Uh, yeah. Decoy catapult. Want to buy some Gwen cars from her? Could buy those. That's fifty. That's a lot of money. Eh. Okay. All right. Um, anything else? Did In that I... case, I regret the Ross. 20, 20, 50, 20. Oh. I mean, it's <laughs> for when we're playing Gwent. <laughs> okay, I got the yeah. $250 ones. <laughs> I get the expensive ones. Oh, wait, what's that one? That's a, that's a 
like arranged one. Yeah. Oh, that could be good. Okay, fine. All right. Sorry. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. So, <laughs> we go. We go to the store. And we're like, well. show us your magic cards. I, like, yes. Yeah. And I succumbed to this in college, <laughs> yeah. and I bought way too many magic cards. Man, I succumbed to this like last year. <laughs> like. Also, I'm not gonna lie, the new set looks really good. I might be dipping back into magic cards soon. It's so bad because like, like every time I think I'm out, somebody's like, Oh, let's do like a draft. I'm like, Yeah, that sounds yeah, great. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm weak. <laughs> I'm weak and small yeah. in the face of magic. Um, uh, okay. Well, I think this is gonna move us along. Doesn't your salt look good? Jennifer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so something wrong. Look around. Trouble brewing. Oh. Oh, that's what that noise was. Uh, then it's time to go. Who are they? Who are they? Yeah. Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. <laughs> Literally. We'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt. We should stay out of it. Just this once. Geralt wants to get into it. Yeah, I mean... He kind of always wants to get into exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. He's ready to throw down whenever. Yeah. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Temerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to let my sister go. tending to the birth. And you don't oh, fear oh, the shit. god's wrath. You don't <sighs> fear it, you Ooh. cunt. <sighs> <sighs> Yeah, I mean, Let geez. me be! Ah, oh, jeez. I love how Vesemir's like, let's stay out of it. Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You alright? Oh. They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What the Emperor promised you, freaks? Your own land? Like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. Great. And neither are you. They won't back down now. So I can see that. This is a bad call. Oh, now you gotta fight in the tavern. Aw, oh, jeez. Oh, and it's, just, it's we've got a bad angle here, too. It doesn't oh. matter. If they go down with Oh, here. they go. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, there I we mean, go. That was easy. Yeah, I mean. What what did these people expect? Oh jeez. But you're glad the uh, Blavican. We did it. Fuck. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be. Get away. See his face. God save us. Be gone and don't ever come back. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. <sighs> I mean, you're right in it too. Yeah. I think he meant that for like oh, the yeah. two of them. Yeah. That brawl? We didn't start it. Did it? Hello? Oh. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you run all over the place before you just walk right in? I received a report <laughs> about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you we looking for me. That's fair. I okay. might have waited until you found me, but oh, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. <laughs> it's good to see you, Geralt. I I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. 
To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Why Vizima? What's the rush? Uh, yeah, why Vizima? We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Oh! Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse. <laughs> I didn't. Though I could have. Thank you, Vesemir. <laughs> Um, suppose I can't, uh, I can hear him out, and I wonder what he offered you. Uh, Man, I kind of feel this one, I kind of yeah, want to ask wonder what he offered yeah. you. Yeah, let's do that. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. What? I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Care More. Remember? Yeah, I yeah. remember. Thanks for your help, Fezimir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. All right, all right, let's move. Let's do it. We're going to Vizima. Level four, yay! Woo! <laughs> Killed a bunch of normal people and muffled up. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, bye, Vesemir. It's nice getting to spend time with you. Yeah. Good luck with at Careboard. Yeah, thanks for taking yeah. that Griffin that one time. Yeah, I'm so glad he tanked that Griffin for us. <laughs> really appreciate it. Yeah, that was very nice. I suppose it's good that we bought those cards when we did. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, I had a dream about you recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. <laughs> but then. But then. Uh -huh. Oh shit, that's not a dream. No, that's, that's unfortunate. Actually what happening. Are they writing? Oh, they're horses. Yeah, there's, these are the milk Oh, okay. No, 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 that was them. That was the wild thing. They've got, like, bone armor on them. No, there's, like, those things. Oh, they're, like, wolves with them. Yeah. Whoa, oh, oh, shit. Oh, no, they're, like, I don't know what they are. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, neither. Oh, they're my God. Little son of, sons of bitches. Yeah, I can see why she wanted to get behind some walls. Probably because of this. Good move. Thanks, Jan. Has, has Yennefer joined the party? <laughs> Do you get in our party? Do we have a party? Is that how this works? We'll talk of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. I'm assuming that that has to do with our discussion with the Emperor. This bard's okay. tale begins near White Orchard. <laughs> I'm sure, I, I've been shrugging Gerald it. Yeah. Yes. Seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. Yes. Okay. And then we went to Vizima. And we did that. Well, we're going to Vizima with her. Oh, another bath. Oh, we gotta have our bath scenes with Mr. Geralt here. He does like to take baths. He really likes to take baths. <laughs> I mean, I guess if your life involves getting just covered in nasty guts and blood, then you're gonna like to take baths. Yeah, I get it. So. 
also in this case, he had three attendant ladies. Yes! He seemed to like that too. Yeah. Mm. It must suffice. <laughs> Good job, sir. In this case, it seems like he had to take Think a bath. Think cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. <laughs> Immediately post bath. Catherine, we shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. We're cleaning up. Mm -hmm. um, Something wrong with my beard? Fine, that's just fine. Oh, okay. I mean. I'm curious why they want to get rid of the beard. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. <laughs> Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Aw, get rid of our beard. Tilt your head back, please. Our, 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 and sit still. I guess if it has lice our in it, lice get that beard? off. Yeah, Actually, get that off his face. Yeah, let's let's remove that. Ugh. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I'd prepare also, to answer He's been on the road questions. for a while. General, I, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Oh shit. Movran Voris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Witcher, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, <laughs> Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth unknown. Parents unknown. Age unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. Where are we going? The siege <laughs> of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander, one Arian. Uh, I killed Arian during the siege. Just happened that way. I spared his life. He escaped. What are we, are we deciding? I guess. I don't know. Are, oh, are these like from the previous games? Pro almost oh. definitely. Yeah. Oh. But I don't know what's true or not, Shit. and I don't know whether this determine like this retroactively makes uh, these things true or whether we can I lie. I don't know if I want to look this up or not. I yeah, I don't know. Oh fuck. Oh jeez. What do you think's the safer option here? I don't know. I don't know which side of the war Arian was on. I don't know either. <laughs> um, I I was gonna say I spared his life. He escaped. I don't know. We fought on opposing sides. True. Then we landed in the same dungeon. Arian escaped, set fire to the castle on his way out. Ah. So that is how the blade started. Our reports suggested the dragon was responsible. Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsa, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? That's my question too. Uh, got Same out of Flotsa things. with Vernon. Uh... It, are we, <laughs> do we need to like put Major, major thought into these choices here. I'm really I am going concerned. to put no thought into these choices oh, because no. we don't have the information to make them. <laughs> I have no clue. Um, I joined uh, Yorveth. Uh, he helped me out. I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roche. Ooh. I don't. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roche, commander of the Blue Stripes, and a murderer of non-humans. We know this gentleman well. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. Uh-oh. Had to save Triss. Helped Roach rescue. Nice. I like had to save Triss. The mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her, and I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. 
The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tanserville to bits. Ooh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we can, uh... We can... We can create that for her. You say she escaped. She got what's coming for her. Oh, jeez. I mean, in that case, it makes it sound like, like your she friend is actually being facetious and if she were not friends. I don't know. Uh, either way for me, Gina. I yeah. watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Ooh! Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. The alliance is dead. See, I, uh, I killed Letho. And the alliance, that alliance still alive. What happened to Letho? Uh, I like that bottom one. I don't know. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please. Affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth. We <laughs> definitely <laughs> did that. <laughs> here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. That's like a clever way to like incorporate your choices from the previous games. Very, very clever. Yeah. Little silly if you don't know what's going on, Whoops. just on our end. Yeah. Like, I feel silly, but uh, I do think from a game design perspective, it's pretty nice. Yeah. Feels like more that. like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Oh, we get to pick have out. A favorite. Yep. Uh, Any color as long as it's black. Where are my clothes? Yeah. Black, black, or black. Perfect. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Okay, I have a favorite. What's your favorite? Uh. Wait a sec. Wait. Let me let me okay. walk them. Replenishing items, oils, oh, potions, and bombs are consumed here? upon use and can run out. To replenish your stock of these items, uh, the cat just stole popcorn. We should probably prevent the cat <laughs> from eating popcorn in the middle of an episode. Perfect. Uh, look at that face. Look at that face. It's a good face. Um, <laughs> enter the uh, meditation panel if you have... Oh, okay, so that makes sense. So when, when I created... Um, so, some potions. Uh -huh. The option to create those potions completely disappeared, and I was wondering why that was. It looks like once you make the potion, you have it. Oh, just like indefinitely. Yeah, so there's two bombs that we thought were really expensive. If we just have them forever, so long as we oh. meditate, that's actually a cool mechanic. That's cool, I and like that. And that incentivizes you to spend those, those pricey uh, materials because then you'll have access to that moving right, forward. Right, right. If that you have hard sense. alcohol in your inventory, it will automatically be used to create a new. So all we need to do is have spirits. Okay. Um, That's great. She's she's <laughs> worrying me. Can you hold this popcorn while I grab this cat? Yes. Thank you. Go for it. Move the cat real quick. Hello. <laughs> e. <Whoop. laughs> e. Will you sit? Okay. Beautiful. Cool. That um, is a cool thing. I like that mechanic. I, I like that a lot. Uh, all right, here we go. Which one do I like? Not the middle one. No, not the middle one is the, the obvious no. The middle one is bad. So first we have we have this guy. This one might be my vote because it's got those side patch things. The side panels on the, 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 on the vest. Yeah, yeah, the side panels are nice. Uh, let me see. The, this, this one, one is here. just just straight just up. Straight up. That one's also really good. I actually think I like that one. I more. like this one. This one best. Yeah. Just because it's like it feels very. This feels over over complicated. It's, it's too much. Yeah. Yes. And yeah, let's do that one. Hell yeah. So please, Put, God, Geralt, work Put, with me one day. Okay. Uh, oh, we get stuff from it. Oh, it's just it's like, the outfit the items. Okay. Can I, I can loot all Great. of them. Hmm. Oh <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, can you take them all? Well, can you take all three outfits? Because that's might hilarious. This come as news to the gentleman. 
that a towel wrapped around one's waist is not fitting attire for an audience. The gentleman will kindly dress. Do we need, do we need we three outfits? <laughs> put them on right now? Yeah. Okay. I don't think we need three outfits. Okay. <laughs> That's hilarious that you like, you have to just put them on yourself. Well, because my clothes are gone. I don't know where <laughs> they are, but they're not here. What if you kept the towel on? I just did, and he he. I know, but you put you put the the, oh. the, the 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 jacket on, but and keep the towel on instead. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. What does he Here we say go. I this? think it's fetching. I, I believe the gentleman's forgetting something. Okay. No, nah, man, I'm ready to go. Look, it's a good look. Yeah, it's a great look. Even All right. Strut. Well, okay. <laughs> nope, that's the world Fine. map. Get out of there. Okay. <laughs> We'll put on pants. Okay, our Nilfgaardian trousers. There they are. Okay. We're dressed and ready to go. Anything else we can do in this room? I'm guessing not. It's just like a little... Oh. Wait, can you take that shit? You can take it all. Take the shit. What is give this? Give me a moment. Give me a moment. I need yeah. loot. Come back, please. Loot. Oh my god. Really? Oh, extinguish. It really, no. it really doesn't want me to loot this. Uh, dumpling and a smoking pipe. You know what? Why not? Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then because I'd like okay, out. I'd like to take multiple out. I'm gonna take up multiple outfits. I'm gonna see what happens because if we can keep them, then we can sell them. Good point. Okay. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing wrong with taking them. So seems like it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna real quick check the other room with the barber to see if there's anything else Good I can call. steal. Yeah. Directly hey, hey. Oh, hello, hello. The opposition in Nilfgaard. Okay. Read. Oh, okay. Okay. While Nilfgaard's emperor wields absolute power, uh, harshly crushing the slightest sign of disobedience, opposing forces continue to exist within the empire. Uh, by this, I do not mean the disgruntled leaders of conquered provinces, but the magnates within the city of a thousand towers who are unhappy with the current leadership. This conflict between the Emperor and the Noble Houses of Nilfgaard, uh, Noble Houses of Nilfgaard, the capital, dates back many years. Um, all the princes of blood and magnates, um, expected their ruler to wed one of their daughters and sire an heir with one of their own. I'm gonna be real, real. it's written strangely. I, yeah. I, yeah, it's like, like, it's not wrong, but I get what's happening, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's like, the emperor, however, had other plans. <laughs> this Maybe proved that would help. <laughs> this proved a slap in the face for all the great families from which he refused to take a bride. Actually, this is helping. Yeah. I have to read it in this way. <laughs> the Nilfgaardian opposition patiently waits. <laughs> For the it's amazing how everything that can make noise and happen in a recording session will. Uh, One second, we'll go check if they're still there. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. <laughs> everything is fine. Um, uh, the Nilfgaardian opposition patiently waits for the emperor to slip up for some event to occur which will weaken his authority, be it an economic crisis or a defeat in a battle. A secret conspiracy lies ready to seize such a moment to incite the disaffected, assassinate the emperor, and carry out a coup d'etat culminating with one of their own number ascending to the throne. For obvious reasons, only a limited few know of this conspiracy including us now, apparently. Yep. Um, but any shrewd observer of Nilfgaardian politics can read the signs of its workings. So long as men and women of this... Uh, so long as men are men and the world is as it is, certain dynamics will forever remain the same and the discontented will always form subversive societies with their secret signs and hidden agendas. So is this barber like, like a... Like a... Like a rebel? Ready? Oh, maybe. I think of Sweat and Blood is the book that we got earlier that I couldn't find. Oh, um, So I'm going to read that yeah, real quick. Right. A veil hangs between the world men see and the world they cannot. The veil blocks the dead from the view of the living and the living from the view of the dead. Some mages can break through this veil and communicate with the dead, or else summon them into the world of the sun for short periods of time. This is the art, art known as necromancy. The dead can also break through the veil and enter the world of the living on their own. Yet unlike the necromancers, in doing so they are not driven by reason or will, but by a thoughtless, irrational need. This need arises from powerful emotions, such, such as regret, longing, or wrath. Very often, these emotions gain their power by being invested in a material object of the dead, in, uh, of the dead individual. Yep, yep. Yep, while he is still, um, 
while he or she still knew life. The object uh, most frequently so endowed, wedding rings, favorite toys, or the instrument used uh, for the crime with, uh, with, which sent the returned individual to the other world in the first place. Huh. Okay. All right. We kind of knew that, but that's good. Torn out page. Okay. Okay. We're getting those. That's nice. Um, and bread and some money. Okay. 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 So we learned about noon rates from that. Oh, nice. And got and some plague stuff. Maidens. Yes. All right. So there's some useful shit in here. Uh, and then there's... I think that was from the of uh, of sweat and blood. Oh, right. That's from called. the book we picked up. Yes. Yeah. Um, wow, there's there's all sorts of stuff in here. Yeah, thanks you, Barbara, for just letting me walk around. Yeah, and right. And it's a mug. Take all this shit. Got some books. another book. Uh, the Wonders of uh, Zerikania. Uh, during my many travels, I have seen countless extraordinary places. The primeval wilds of Bro uh, Brocolon. Brocolon. Sure. I, it's Brocolon, I'm pretty sure. But I... <laughs> Uh, the trees so high their tips disappear in the clouds. Dwarven chambers carved into the guts of Mahakam, Mount Mahak Mahakam Mountains uh, with walls plated in pure gold. The ice palace of Vont Va Pont Vanis. Oh my god. Nah, it's, Can this, we fuck this one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll take the next paragraph and we'll, just, we'll make our way <laughs> Sorry. through. Sorry. There's a lot of made up words in this one. Yes. Uh, adorned with stained frost windows. Yet none of these made such an impression on me as did the rightly famed Zerikania. God, it is a lot of a lot of that. Um, yet while I was traversing the fiery mountains, I feared disappointment awaited me on the other side. I had heard many a fantastic tale about Zerikania, about its trackless sands, burnt white by the sun, its golden scaled dragons weaving their nests amidst the dunes, its hunchbacked horses able to survive weeks without a, even a swallow of water. Camels! Camels! <laughs> Yet none seemed to me to be plausible. I was sure all of these sensations were but the figments of some bard's overactive imagination. Oh, I know <laughs> I know this will be hard for you to believe. Uh, I know this will be hard. <laughs> Fuck. I know you to this believe, will be dear reader. as hard for you to believe, dear reader, as it once was for me. But all the unbelievable tales are true. Not only that, during my many months of travel, I came across wonders far surpassing those any prior travelogues mentioned. I saw temples dedicated to the worship of dragons. I heard their voice, almost human, but reverberating with a thousand echoes. I met warrior maids clad in leopard skins, tattooed from head to foot and giving no ground to, witch uh, no ground to witchers in mastery of their blade. I saw mages who channeled power from fire. I saw seemingly harmless flies whose solitary bite would make an, a man fall a man fall into a deep slumber, never to awake, save to die. Oh, terrible mosquitoes. Uh, in short, Zerkania is a land where the fantastic is normal and the impossible occurs daily. I actually liked that actually book liked a, lot. That a lot. Yeah, that was yeah, fun. That is fun. Um, okay. All right. I, I think that's everything. Let's get out of this room. Cool. Let's, let's go. Let's go, go. Let's go. Meet with Sir Emperor or whatever. The Emperor. <laughs> Black suits the gentleman. You are Does the outfit fine. satisfy the gentleman? Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. Uh, I suppose so. <laughs> yeah. Suppose so. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough. When in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? <laughs> my nose. No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. <laughs> the gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Confirm away. <laughs> I'm not a bore. I know how to bow. Uh, I kind of like this one, actually. Uh, sure. Yeah. I'm not some bore. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. <laughs> <laughs> that, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Oh, Not no. to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Oh my god. Oh, oh I wasn't listening. I wasn't listening either. Right leg forward, left hand in. So wait, he had. Uh, left leg forward, right hand on chest. I'm just going off yeah. of what he just did. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say his left arm was out, so therefore it has to be, yeah. yeah. that one. Hmm. Lacking fluidity and grace. 
But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Great. Come with me. What the? Okay. <laughs> Here what, we go. What, what a scene. <laughs> the gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman <laughs> is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. I love this guy. <laughs> yeah. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. This guy cracks me up. I this like him a lot. He's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> It seems the gentleman is in the mood for chess. In grimy at art cats. Dyfen Aden in Karn eb Marvut. Emir var emres. I'm to pronounce it later. Oh, bow, bow. I guess. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, let's do it. We'll be respectful. Yeah. I like that you have time to bow. Yeah. Beauteous. It's okay. Your he Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen vat gern favort. Can Gerald right. understand this language? I we can, no. which makes me feel like he can. Yeah. Right? I, I'm i gonna guess that. Or he's gonna speak a common tongue right now. Mm. Or I different. thought you bowed before no man. Different language, yeah. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. <laughs> A face. <laughs> that was a face. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Why me? If she's back, you sure? You, this is white, so we should... Yes, yeah, she's yeah. back, you sure? Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. Okay. Uh, why, me? why me? Yeah. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me. <laughs> yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Need information, not motivation. Only doing this for Siri. Need information, not motivation. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith! Take him to the sorceress. Okay. So the wild hunt is pursuing Siri. Mm -hmm. Which we saw in the dream. Yes. We don't entirely know why. Follow me if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman disgusts. Need not bother. <laughs> Bunch of people here you don't like. So let's keep. Or, or that might be disgusted to see you. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Sorry, I just wanted to take a little, little, little peek, a little peek around. This is nice. It's really pretty. Yeah. I mean, it's it's very clearly like a church. Oh yeah. I like all this banter around. This <laughs> hey, is that that guy that was interviewing us? That guy? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. More, oh, general guy. We're talking about that. Mind if I interrupt? Why not join in instead? We're discussing neutrality. How difficult it is to preserve. Uh, know a bit about that. Always worth trying. Uh, know a bit about that. Yeah. 
Know a thing or two about that. Care to explain? Never changes. I try to stay out of things, stand aside. Then comes an urgent summons, and an offer I can't refuse. Enough about that. Mind if we change the subject? <laughs> talk to the Emperor? Yeah. Yeah, sure. We'll so, talk. talk to the Emperor. Hmm. Why did he summon you? So not even you know. No. But I wager it's an ordinary witch's contract. Mm-hmm. Some weirbubs. <laughs> okay. That's I guess good. we're good. See ya. Soon, mind you. Well. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I love that you can do that in Final Fantasy VII Remake, too. Like, when you're running, you can run into just people. Just smack right <laughs> into people. Boom. Push them aside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Add, adds a little Sometimes bit Sometimes your AI there. partners will go out of their way to do that, and it also <laughs> cracks me up. That's good. Oh, this is a long walk. It is. Here. Jeez Louise. I mean, it's a pretty set. It like, is a really nice set. Yeah. yeah. Come check out the palace. I have a feeling... We're walking through this now, and sometime in the future we won't be walking through it. Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> that seems like a very likely. Oh God, yeah. this is pretty. Oh, wow. Oh, is this scribe? What are we in the library? God, there's so many people talking. Can you talk to that guy? Not the scribe. Um, uh, all right, no, no, ambassador. difficult to tell the one from the other. Yen. Yen, what are you? Oh, there's more st oh, there's stuff Please all over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna quietly see what's in here. All right. Oh, it's a book. Shall we come to Maria? To Maria, a land where milk and honey once flowed. In what, in what did, uh, in what did she wrong the gods that they should treat her so cruelly? The pearl of the north to some. She proved a galloping rage for Nilfgaardian cavalry to others. Uh, as a country, it has suffered or survived two previous wars against the empire. Uh, it was where that, it was here that the war's bloodiest battles were fought. It was in Temerio where their most bestial deeds were wrought. It was Temerian citizens who bore the full brunt of those war's horrors. Uh, and bear them we did, bravely and steadfastly, until the demise of our great protector, King Fulst Fultest. Uh, then Providence turned its fickle face from Temeria. Murdered most treacherously, Fultis failed- God, there's a lot of alliteration yeah. in this. Fultis <laughs> failed to leave Temeria as worthy successor. And so all manner of cur soon fell upon her, tearing her apart like so much carrion. She had no more allies then. No, uh, none remembered that we had once been the armor protecting the North from the, design, the da designs of the Mad Dancer, uh, who- he who had a gravestone for his foes pounded into the ballroom floor. A free and independent Tamaria is no more. A dark-faced sun looms over her every rampart. Yet we Tamarians live on and always will. As long as we uh, folk believe, the usurper who took our beloved capital, Vizima, Ooh. to treat us, uh, to treat as his property will forever peer over his shoulder in fear. For in the shadows lurks not one dagger, but the power of a nation of daggers waiting to deal justice's blow. Damn. That's I was going to say, cool. what is this doing here? But that's right. We're in Vizima right now, which is yes. the capital of Temeria. Because I was going to say, this doesn't look shame, very no Nilfgaardian. It looks like it was something else. Yeah, that, with all the lilies. That Yeah, right. All the lilies. Yeah. Um, and the Nilfgaards have obviously just set up shop here. That yeah. seems accurate, yeah. Geralt, that tunic. You look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Uh, so they're our agents now, and yeah, all grown up. Um, the, either one of those. I like, yeah, all grown up. Yeah, I guess. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't. 
Not a bit. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. <laughs> but let's focus on Siri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. <laughs> you must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. Uh, so where's Siri been seen, and what's the Wild Hunt want with Siri? We'll that one, that yeah. First, please. The Wild Hunt. What could it want from Siri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. <laughs> I know Fine. as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. Okay. Alright. So where's Siri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Oh? Triss Merigold. Ah. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Uh, before we part, why did you con why didn't you contact me earlier in time to get going? Yeah, definitely always ask that. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? <laughs> Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Okay, time all right. to get going then. Yep. <laughs> Since we can't say anything in response. Okay. <laughs> Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vell and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in black velvet. <laughs> Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. Oh, and cool. Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. I shall be waiting. Cool. Aww. Thanks, Yen. Thank you, Yen. I really like her. <laughs> yes. And we added Triss. Excellent. Uh, okay. Oh, oh wait, geez. let's watch her teleport. Here she oh, goes. She goes. Bye. Farewell. <laughs> God damn, she's so cool. <laughs> I kind of wish I could have gone I wish too, we but that's okay. Could have said yes, please teleport us. Let's go. That would no, really we have nice. to ride the roads and get attacked by bandits oh, and man. such. Oh. Um, okay, here we go. Oh. oh, you get a poem. Oh, geez. The collected verses of Gonzalo de Ver Versero. Verseo, whatever. Um, love. To love is to build a house of cards or play a game of chess. But one wrong word or ill-thought move, and you must start it all afresh. Tide. 
I'm guessing that's the name of the next poem. Um, whenever I watch the tide recede, cold coils of fear grip round my heart. Will the seas sneak back calm and sure in the dark of night as they have before? Or fuck, <laughs> will they stay on distant shores, leaving crushed shells and washed up dreams as memory of surfs of yore? Okay. Ooh, this one's tricky because they're sure before shores and your, which are all really like they're not quite slant, but they're yeah, slant enough. I could have read it better, but I, I broke it. <laughs> no, I, I more was talking to, about the actual ah, uh, rusty bread knife. We don't need that. Oh my god. <laughs> it's okay. I'm up. <laughs> all right. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, this, Here we this. go. Three paragraphs. Who are the hunters? You ask. Folk like you and yours, I reply. The, de uh, the decent kind, haters of lies, doers of good, the king who live, the kind who live uh, according to the gods' laws and nature's laws too, those disgusted by the ma machinations of witches, magickers, and non-humans. All that separates us from common folk, uh, folk is that we've the courage to take up arms, to defend our lands from evil, to slice out the gangrene that eats uh, uh, us from within. We haven't a leader. We haven't forts or forts or land, though God-fearing Radovid, Radovid, Radovid support. I'm gonna yeah. say Radovid. Radovid supports us with his gold and his uh, at times. We've not sworn him nor any other ruler any oath. We serve only the eternal fire, and we listen only to our own conscience. Who can join us? Any who right uh, who is right of soul and sound of body. You can find us in every larger city of the north. We will give a, we will give you board, lodging, and a weapon. We will explain how to spot a telltale sign of evil, birthmarks in strange and arcane places, smooth skin on a matron aged more than 30 springs. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh boy. Black cats kept in, in the yard, to name a few. Oh boy. Uh, oh man. <laughs> we'll show you how to defend yourself from witchcraft, how to tame and snuff out magic elements with de uh, with demeritium. Demeritium? Demeritium. Demeritium? Demeritium. Demeritium? Demeritium. That sounds right. Demeritium. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we got there. We can read. <laughs> Absolutely. 100% of the time, we'll instruct you how to squeeze the sinner's darkest secrets out, uh, out of them with a hot iron and how to grant them cleansing death with the help of sacred fire. I like the idea of, like, Yen having this book and be like, ha This is funny. This is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> it's like how in Harry Potter, the Salem witch trials were actually people, like, the witches were casting tickling charms on themselves. <laughs> um, oh my god. Oh man. Yeah. Anyway. All, all right. right. So, <laughs> next time, how about this? Next time, shall we continue on? Oh, wait, we got a, we got a lot of stuff to do. We got to get our shit, first of all. And then we've got a couple things to do. I mean, um, first, though, we want to go to... Valen? Valen? Whatever it's called? Yes. Um, We we need to go there first. We're going to get our equipment. We're going to get our horse. We're going to hit the road. We're going to yep. ride into the sunset, and maybe we'll find Siri we'll get, sometime we'll start far, getting far down the line. some information there. That's what it seems like. Go there and get some info. Yes. Um, scope things out. Oh, my God. Do we have to read another book? No. No. I mean, <laughs> the wild hunt. I do yeah, want to read Yeah, we that. probably should. Next time, we're going to read books. Yes. We're going to get our equipment. We're going to find Roach. We're going to hit the road. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. That sounds great. See you then, folks.